Welcome back, this is Part-Time Guardian. I put together this week a quick video just to talk about the Souls of Heroes and whether it is a value or not. To do that, I'll briefly go over what you need to do to kind of put yourself in position to get things that are good rewards out of the activity. And I'll also talk about what I did when I actually opened some of the chests that I got. If you like this video, feel free to jump into my Discord, like the video, and subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it. For Solstice of Heroes, that's an event that runs, as you guys most know, three or four weeks towards the end of the season. Every year we have this, it's in the AZ. I actually kind of enjoy it because the AZ to me is kind of fun. It's kind of a fun, it's a casual activity. It's something I can do as I have spare time. I don't have to put a lot of thought or effort into it. And to get best prepared for it, one of the things that I would do if you want to actually use this to grind up and get materials, well, you can get materials regardless, but if you want to get better armor, make it worth your while, I would try to do basically your armor across all three characters. Um, that's how you get kind of the ability to actually be able to get the highest ranked, highest tier, that 60 plus armor as rewards from the activity. Otherwise, if you don't want to do that, obviously part of this video won't make as much sense because yes, you'll still be able to get materials and things like that, but one of the potential rewards from this is actually from opening up packages and getting high tier armor too. And so you can see that there's some science behind this on how you what you can actually get from this activity. I'm going to open up 150 packages, so you don't have to, and I'm gonna tell you what the breakdown and what I got from those packages as far as reward. So first off, let me caveat this. Um, I would say it took me somewhere around 30 matches to get the 150 packages, and that's running very average. Now, if you run off a full fire team, you're on comms, on mic, you could probably get more than this, but just running with average people, again, not people in my clan, not on not with on a mic, not in a fire team, but just whoever I matched up with, I was able after the around 30 or so matches to get the 150 packages. And I would say for the most part that it probably took me around five hours to do that. So again, not a lot of time investment as far as what Destiny would consider, um, but obviously it does take a little bit of time. Since it's a multi-week event, it's something you can easily just work in when you have a little bit of time here, a little bit of time there, and get through it fairly easily. And also, when I give you the final numbers, this is not going to include anything that dropped as far as le as far as legendary armor or weapons or blues that I would have got during the match. And, you know, sometimes as you kill ads, sometimes those will actually drop. This is just simply from packages. So there's probably a little bit more that you can get from the activity, but let me kind of walk you through what I got. So in those matches, here's what I was able to get. Um, I was able to get three Rainmakers. Those are the things that you can actually go and turn in and it gives you increased chance of getting glimmer. And that's when you break down armor or weapons. I got a total of 44 cores, which approximates to about one and a half cores per match. I got two upgrade modules, which is pretty low drop rate, but obviously I did get some. I got uh, two prisms, which again, you know, those, those at least that's something that's a, of a little bit more value. You could probably get this a little quicker from other activities, but again, this is something pretty average that you're doing. I got a lot of planetary materials. Now, I'm not going to break down every one that I got. I do have it in a spreadsheet. If anyone's really interested, I could send it to you. But I got a basically 435 planetary materials, which approximates to around 15 per match, which again, you know, you're not having to go and do anything to get those. So it's basically passive as you're doing this activity. I got 299 gunsmith materials. Again, this is from breaking down legendaries and blues and things like that, which approximates about 10 per match. And then I got 247 shards, which approximates about eight, a little over eight per match. The glimmer figure that I have is actually, it's not exact. I tracked it. I got about 73,450, but the problem was in between the times that I did this, um, I actually capped out 250. I had actually bought a bunch of stuff, so my glimmer went way down, but I got more glimmer than I was expecting. I would approximate, based on what I was seeing um, when I opened up packages later, that it's probably a little over 3,000 per match, or about 100,000 for those three packages. So again, you know, if you're a little hungry, if you're a little glimmer starved, that's that's a way to do it too. And again, that's not glimmer that I got in game. That's not glimmer I collected on the ground. That's just from opening packages themselves. As far as armor and weapons, I got a total of 118 blues. 74 legendaries and no exotics. Now, again, these are just things I got from packages, not stuff that I got during the activities. So that breaks down to about four blues per match and about two and a half legendaries per match. Now, that's legendaries as far as weapons and armor. As far as stuff that I kept that were valuable, I broke a lot of stuff down and that's how you got some of the shards and other things that I, I stated in my previous figures. I got a total of 20 pieces of armor that would have kept. So that's a little under one per match. There were five helmets, five arms, four chests, and six legs. These were all things 
that were upper level as far as they were again they weren't the things the standard they were the solstice armor that all has higher stats on it and again from 59 to 66 i would say the average is around 62 63 um the 59 included because it had a really good bottom stat line on one of the uh, stats so i really kept that one but again every solstice piece of armor i got was valuable as far as weapons i had four primary weapons that i kept in other words these were good rolls that i liked three secondary weapons and then no power weapons so the grand scheme of things is it valuable or is it or isn't it i personally think it is as far as and again it depends on who you are if you are a really casual gamer it is absolutely you should get into this because not only can you get all these things from this activity but by going through and killing the enemies in the activity you're gonna get additional blues and purples it'll level you up now, at the end of the season, you probably shouldn't need that, but if you're a really casual player, you might. So if you're a casual player, absolutely get into this. If you're more a hardcore player, yeah, there's absolutely things that you can do that can give you more materials and things like that. The thing is, this is a filler activity. This is something you can be doing while in the middle of doing other things. Like you have like a half hour here to grind this out. Get And you can get those packages and it's supplementary things that you can use in end game activities. Again, these are valuable things. So again, personally for me, especially... As a season's winding down and I probably grinded through a lot of stuff and I need a break, even as a hardcore player, I would definitely want to do this. And so that's a video, guys. Again, European Era Zone, uh, Solstice of Heroes in its last week. I would definitely jump in there if you haven't already. Again, if you go in and you upgrade your first piece of armor, then the subsequent upgrades on your other characters are that much easier. I would go and try to get them done if you can. It's a lot easier this season than it has been in, last, in the last seasons, so it's not that hard. If you need help with that, feel free to drop in my Discord and we can talk through and I can help you through those activities. And I'll see you Guardians in the Tower.